Hendrik, great presentation that you're doing uh, to an audience. What are you, what are you uh, demonstrating? What are you telling them? Well, we're presenting like a new machine. We call it like a new era of bar turning because actually like a combination of a bar turning machine and a bar type machining center. Uh, so it offers a wide range of operations and we're actually showing them live on a real workpiece. Um, tell us about this application, Can you? because this is what you're actually making on the machine, isn't it? In about seven minutes, I think, is the cycle time. Yeah, in general, it would be seven minutes. Uh, extra for the audience here, we've increased to 11 minutes because we substitute one operation with a milling operation to really show the potential of the machine, which in this case is a milling pros like it's an ellipse. It's a, it's a vertical axis of the turret. Uh, you're, you're, you're asking the audience to uh, give you some feedback and ask you questions. What sort of... Uh, yeah, what sort of questions are you getting? What are they, what are they interested in? Well, the people are very, uh, very interested in, in the variety the machine offers. Uh, you, can deep, you can do deep hole drilling, but not only on the main spindle, also on the back spindle. You can go very, very deep. That's why I'm very interested in not only 150 millimeters as we do here, but also actually 400 millimeters deep. So they're very surprised about that. Uh, they're also very surprised about the precision because we show like uh, the guide ways and also the, uh, the ball screws, which are much larger than conventional machines. And they're very surprised about that too. Uh, this Swiss Deco has been labeled by your guys back at Tornos as a beast of a machine. Uh, it really is a workhorse, isn't it? I mean, it's got a lot of power as well as speed. Yeah, it's actually the most powerful spindle on the market in such a type of machine. It has 53 Newton meters. And you could say conventional machines on that class go around maximum 30 Newton meter. Wow, so it's, it's fast uh, and it's powerful and it's agile. Um, what sort of marketplaces do you think will be buying this machine? What sort of applications will they be doing? I see we've got this as an example, but is there specific industries? Well, automotive industry definitely, but also for example, medical industry. Because in medical industry, you, spe you work with very uh, hard materials and also very difficult materials. So in this case, we're actually showing at the trade fair live uh, stainless steel 316L. And the people are pretty surprised. About actually, they know all the steel, very interesting. Eh? They know exactly it's medical. And they're very surprised because it's very difficult to work steel. I think it's great that you're actually doing that here because a lot of machines that we see around uh, the show are just either cutting air or you know they're doing something very lightweight but you're showing off the true capabilities of the machine and um, just finally tell me about this control panel and the control that you have here it must be an incredibly powerful control is it easy to use that's actually the focus of the development uh, it was really meant to sort of really uh, redesign the approach to a control panel so it was really uh, developed from the point of view from an operator uh, regarding productivity but also work comfort. So first of all, it's extra large, 21 inch. Then it's a touch display, which is maybe not that special, but uh, the way the software is built up, that is very special and the people are very surprised because actually built up or based on a smartphone design, how you operate a smartphone. You can actually drag and drop apps into a menu bar and that's very surprising for the people and that's also the operator they, they like it very much and they're surprised is this your favorite machine at the show i have to be honest yes because uh, two years ago I was presenting a different machine which was great as well but this machine is is really uh, is really my favorite one and you just mentioned it it, it sounds maybe a bit like marketing that it's powerful that it's very versatile uh, that it's very spacey but it actually is and the combination of all of this is, is pretty unique. I would say it's a little, a little kind of a milestone and that's why I love to present it. Mm -hmm.